Hey guys, this is GameZone, welcome to my channel. First of all, I actually want to apologize for me being in the green bar. As a content creator, it really doesn't suit me. But as you know, I am still getting my bearings straight with this dude here. I am going to farm a lot to get all the essence and the set items that I actually want for this dude. So that then I can work on him even more. But anyways let's move on i actually want to address a really good thing here and i actually want to insist you that you do this as quick as possible and the reason being is that you don't really have to wait for this so yeah let's get into this the first thing as we can see there are so many difficulties now and with that new bosses comes as well but make sure you always do make sure that the first five bosses that you do are the highest that uh, you are able to actually do with your combat rating then move lower for this one time rewards because they are really important and you can all uh, start with the five highest uh, combat rating bosses so you can earn the best reward that is possible so five rewards from the bosses and five warband rewards activity i did not know about that and thank you for mentioning that in the comment section so do that first after once you're done with that then you need to do this once again go to the normal difficulty get the void blast slack why because with the latest update blizzard actually replaced korea with void blast slack material which means you can actually obtain that again as a war band uh, activity and we actually earn 950 blood void uh, slag in a single day but if we had a higher combat rating we could have done maybe 1000 yeah 1120 but anyways make sure that you do this start from the normal then then work your way up get all of these you have to play them all over again each one of them over and over again to get these rewards and they make a total of 950 for us and how let me just quickly show you we did all these hell 5 we did that hell 6 as uh, hell 5 and we did hell 6 only two bosses this and this we didn't do this so this is actually missing right now and this as well but we could have done this but as you see i'm below combat rating but some of my uh, warband members are above 8400 now and uh, i know this actually is a bit difficult but if you have active format or the one that are actually still playing try to make a schedule so that you can all work uh, work together for this because this will actually give you almost two upgrades the 33 34 and 35 maybe so this is actually really important and me being in this warband i mean with my guys i am actually really happy that i found a warband that actually really loves the game and play and we help each other out make schedule whenever we are available available so that is actually really good and tomorrow we are actually going to focus on one two three four on these four bosses first for to get the rewards then we might drop down to this dude for our lowest reward possible because that is going to be appropriate for our combat rating range so that being done this is how you can actually earn 950 or more than 1120 uh, blood void in a single day and also if you guys have a question that what will happen to your scoria now let me just quickly uh, explain it to you that as well so the only source of getting scoria as far as i know is going to be your battle pass only if you buy a battle pass that is then you will get that only scoria 
and what you can do is you will be still able to actually refine that scoria and as you can see with all this uh, 950 blood void i was able to upgrade my heliquary from level 33 to 35 in a single day and uh, also the requirement has dropped and if you are confused why the requirement has been dropped well the reason being is before hitting level 35 heliquary one scoria was counting as one scoria but uh, one scoria was being counted as one blood voice slack so one scoria as one blood uh one blood void blood slack that's a really weird name anyways but once you hit level 35 20 scoria is going to count as one blood slack so let me quickly share that to you guys as well used to upgrade the heliquary to level 35 above the level 35 20 hellfire scoria can be converted into one void blood slag which can be used to further upgrade the heliquary so that being said your blood void is actually going to come from the rates so always make sure that do that you do the highest that is possible for you because they will drop you with these stuff now the demonic realms they will drop you with this and what you have to do is then come to this dude here and then you have to salvage the one that you actually don't need and that will actually provide you with the blood void and the highest difficulty raid boss that you defeat the more blood uh, blood void uh, it will give from the demonic remains so this is how it actually works and i just want to i just wanted to give you guys the head up head up uh how yeah the head up with this do not uh ignore this because this is actually a really good way to get yourself a combat rating as i did let me just quickly show it to you guys i'm getting a lot of fortitude here strength uh vitality willpower as you can see this is better than having a combat rating so do this as quickly as possible and on top of that this is what it looks like right now 280 combat rating so this actually looks good and all of your bonuses are going to work as well so yeah i hope this actually helped you and I will be working on my paragon and other stuff as well so i can bring you guys the uh, best quality content that there is so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys and also if you guys have any question do let me know in the comment section and i will get back to you until then take care have fun bye